Olivia, Olivia Garvey, ABC7. Morning, Davey. Um, as, you, as you've seen these guys practice these past couple of weeks, especially as a full squad this past week, uh, what are you expecting out of them today against the Cardinals? Yeah, for me, it's just a, a good effort and just go out and compete and have fun. Um, you know, we got, want to see some of these guys and just get them built up and get their at-bats. For our pitching, it's just, like I said, just get them, uh, get them built up. You know, uh, I know Hickey, you know, I've known him for years, and he just wants to see these guys come out and throw strikes, get ahead of hitters, and, and, and just pound the strike zone. So, um, you know, we're going to get these guys built up. It's day one. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, you know, go out there and compete against another team. So it's kind of exciting. And what's the vibe around um, spring today? As, as you know, you, you're doing your first game. How are you guys feeling as a coaching staff? But how are the players feeling? Is it a, a, just a different vibe today than most? Uh, they've, they've been pretty good all spring training. I mean, this group here, um, they bring a lot of energy. I, you know, I get here early in the morning and, you know, you, you, you know when they come in because you can hear uh, the music blaring at 630 and those guys are in the gym getting ready for the day. So uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, we try to keep it loose here, but yet we get a lot of work done. And these guys have been working really hard. So I've been proud of them so far. I mean, the energy has been great. And um, the conversations have been unbelievable. Communication with, with my coaching staff and the players has been awesome. So I'm um, looking forward to today, you know, getting this one out of the way. Jesse Dougherty, Washington Post. Hey, David, how you doing? Good. Uh, any uh, anyone interesting? Oh, that's a bad way to ask. Everyone's interesting. Uh, who's who's throwing after Eric Fetty today? Uh, let me see. I got my list here today. I got Fetty, McFarland, uh, Harper, Raymer, McGowan, Adon, Clay, Epler, and Koblatsis. Kl 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 is that what I'm saying? Koblatsis. Kl Kl so you guys he's, playing? He's you guys playing? Yeah. Are you guys playing thirty innings? That was a lot. Of, that was a lot of pitchers. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But those guys are scheduled. You know, if, if some uh, we have one or two guys that don't get in the game, we'll pop them in tomorrow. Um, uh, but, you know, like so I said, we want to see these guys just pound the strike zone, especially our, our younger guys. Uh, but there's some interesting guys we got that are going to uh, hopefully pitch today. We get to see today. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to watching them all. For sure. Uh, on that list, so Kyle McGowan last year um, made a switch from the rotation to the bullpen. Uh, I imagine he's still on that track now. So he's kind of staying – on the bullpen yeah, side, he, he, he'll, he'll be a bulk, bullpen guy. You know, you know, the way we, we look at him is he could be a, a multiple innings guy for us. Um, and he threw the ball well for us last year. Um, so, uh, you know, he's going to get his work in today. And like I said, you know, the biggest thing is to, uh, to just watch his mechanics and, and fluidity and, and, and throw strikes. What did you like about him last year um, when he came up? I know he started kind of throwing a ton of sliders too. Yeah, he threw he threw a ton of sliders, you know, and um, but he, he knew, he, you know, what I liked is that he kept the ball down for the most part. When he was really good, the ball was down, the slider was down. Um, his velo was kind of up uh, last year too. So um, I watched him his first couple of lives, and he's throwing he's throwing the ball really well. Uh, the ball's coming out good. So um, you know, he, he's an interesting guy since we moved him to the bullpen. I mean, he, he's tough on he's tough on right-handed hitters because of the slider. So sure. we'll take a good look at him. Thanks. Okay. Jess Conrado, MLB.com. Davey, can, I guess we'll, we'll play the first game of the season in the sense of how did you determine this lineup uh, with Victor leading uh, Victor leading off, no Juan, Perez, Swihart, uh, some of those decisions? Yeah, we just, um, you, know, I, you know, we go around and have a conversation with these guys, see how they're doing. Uh, I talk to a lot of them. You know, it's just, uh, you know, I want to get Robles in the top of the order. Stevenson always comes to spring training, rip around and go, you know. Uh, Trey has been here for a while. You know, Josh has been here for a while. So I want to get these guys at bats um, and get them going. You know, it's it's early. It's all about building these guys up. But these guys, um, not saying that they're all of them don't, but these guys got their legs underneath them. You know, a lot of these guys have actually been here um, for a while working out. So, uh, you know, it's just a matter of trying to mix them up and, and get them, getting them all uh, out there and getting, some, getting them some playing time, some live at bats. Uh, with Juan specifically, the thoughts with him not in the starting lineup today? Oh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's fine. I just, um, just he's going to play tomorrow. We got a home game tomorrow. So he'll, uh, he'll play here at home tomorrow. Okay. And I know um, 
with Swihart, he's, you know, he obviously has a ton of major league experience. He's somebody that we talked about, Jan and, uh, and Alex, so much going into it. But why did you want to get Swihart specifically in there? I want, I, want to, I want to get him at bats. I want to see him in the game. I want to see how he handles pitchers catching. You know, obviously he, he can do a lot of different things. I mean, he's played multiple positions, um, but we want to get him out there and see him catching, see him how he handles pitchers. But uh, he's an interesting guy, switch hitter. Um, you know, so, I mean, he's a guy, you know, that right now we view if something happened with, uh, with Jan or, or, uh, or Alex, you know, he could be in the mix. So, um, I want to see all these guys play, you know, I, I, I sit around myself and I watch videos of these guys from past years, uh, as we get these guys just to familiarize me, myself with all these guys. So, but until you put, put your eyes on them while they live and watch what they do and how they play, um, you know, that's something that I really want to do right now is some of these other guys that we haven't seen play for us, get them out there and get their feet wet and give them some confidence. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Um, when you have Victor leading off in these spring training games, do you want him approaching these like you would a leadoff hitter in a regular season game? Like, do you want him thinking in a leadoff kind of mindset? And so what is that? What would that look like? What would you want him working on? Yeah, you know, for, for me, I, I don't want him to think much about anything right now. I just want him to work good at bats. Um, well, you know, as, as we get moving, get closer, um, we'll talk to him about some of the things that we review as a leadoff hitter he needs to do, but uh, for him, it's, it's, it's being aggressive in the strike zone, you know, um, not chasing, you know, that, that the biggest thing with him is, is you know, he'll, he'll start chasing a lot. And uh, when he's, when he's in the strike zone and he swings the balls in, in the strike zone, he hits the ball fairly well, you know, so uh, we want to kind of get him in a strike zone and hopefully that, you know, and, and play the game. You know, I just want to play the game, be a good situational hitter, um, guy that gets on base and gets us going. You know, as we all know, Victor brings a lot of energy every day. Um, and we want, we want him to, to, to actually hopefully start the games off for us, you know, with that, with that energy and get us going early. Um, Fetty, for the last several years, kind of finds himself in a similar position where he's competing for a spot. Um, he knows because he has options, maybe that – puts him at a little bit of a disadvantage. Do you feel like he's learned over that time how not to think about those things? Or is it a hard thing to do to not think when he's taking them out in spring training? Okay, I'm auditioning, uh, you know, trying to win a spot right now. You know, I think, I think Fred, Freddie learned a lot about himself and, and who he is as a, as a pitcher. Um, so, you know, hopefully he comes in this year and, and he continues to develop and grow. Uh, you know, he's, he's toyed around with a lot of different things and his mechanics and everything. Good. This, this year, year, he just needs to go out there and just, you know, pitch, you know, you know do, do his thing. thing and, and, and like I said, know where he is and go out there and just try to get out, you know, and uh, and stay stay within himself, you know. He tries to do so many different things, you know, but we, we all often talk to him about just, hey, be, be you, you know, and just get out, you know, and get to that next pitch. So, um, you know, it should be interesting with him. Like I said, uh, I, I thought last year, you know, with everything else going on, he did a good job for us. He really did. So, you know, hopefully he continues to develop and, and, and be that be that guy, you know, the guy that wins the fifth starter spot. Dave Preston, WTOP. Good morning, Davey. Uh, again, about uh, Eric and that uh, potential fifth starter spot, how important is it for you to solidify that spot coming out of spring training? Yeah, somebody, you know, somebody's going to win that spot, you know, out of here. So, um, we got some pretty good candidates. So, you know, like I said before, uh, these guys are going to get an opportunity and, um, and somebody's, somebody's going to be our fifth starter. So, you know, and, and Freddie has more than the ability to, to be that guy. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching him. Like I said, watch him go out there and, and pitch. And uh, he starts, you know, he's, he gets the ball today for the first game. So just want him to go out there, like I said, throw strikes and, and be him. Any other questions for Davey right now? Jesse? I know it's only been like probably like 16 hours since we last asked you this, but have you guys decided if Max wants to do another bullpen or go right to live BP? No, we're gonna uh, we're gonna sit down with him. I mean, he's getting evaluated today. He's gotta go through some some different things, uh, strengthening stuff. So we'll uh, probably by the end of the day, hopefully we'll know more. 
Uh, if not, we'll know something tomorrow. But um, but he's definitely doing a lot better. He feels good. So uh, we'll, we'll keep building him up. And then, Davey, another guy you guys um, signed to a minor league deal this offseason was Yasmani Tomas. Um, obviously, he's a big prospect in Arizona. Um, what? Where's one? Where's he like working out position wise? And two, like, if, what have you noticed from him so far? Yeah, man, he's you know he's a guy that um, he's definitely got power. I mean, uh, you mm-hmm. know, like you said, you know, he had 30 home runs one year. So uh, we got him working out in the outfield. You know, some okay. left field, some right field. Uh, as we get later in camp, we we might start working him out of first base and third base and and see where we're at. But um, you know, I watched his batting practice. Yeah, he really he really hits the ball hard. He hits the ball hard in the middle of the field. Uh, he's got a lot of power to right center field. So um, I just, I like him, it, you know, for, for a bigger guy, he moves really well, you know, so um, he's going to get an opportunity to, you know, to go out there and get some at bats and play and see where he's at. Thank you. Yeah. Mark Zuckerman. Um, do you have any rotation uh, outline for the next couple of days at all that you can share? Um, right now we got, you know, Volt will pitch, um, tomorrow, uh, and R- Romero scheduled the pitch on, on Tuesday, but that's just live BP. Um, Wednesday, uh, we haven't really decided who will start the game, but um, we definitely, you know, like I said, these guys are all going to have to have to pitch. So uh, I'll talk to Hickey probably sometime this afternoon and, uh, and see what his thoughts are about who's going to pitch that day. So the guys, the the. Uh, like Strasburg, Corbin, Lester types who maybe aren't going this these first couple of days through. What are they throwing since like their live VP uh, until they make a start? Are yeah, they another live VP. Yeah, we're building up their pitch count. Um, you know, we, we talked to these guys about you know getting an extra live VP or maybe two extra live VPs, uh, but building them up. I mean, um, you know, we had guys yesterday that, that uh, the first live VP they threw about twenty one pitches, twenty two pitches. The second live BP, they were up in the 30s, which which was kind of nice. So, um, what we what what I like and what Hickey really likes is being able to have these guys uh, pitch in a controlled environment, where you know they just just focus on the, like I said their mechanics, throwing strikes, and uh, you know these guys, all these guys know who they are. You know these are our veteran guys. So um, Hickey's been watching them all, and um, he's had conversations with every one of them. So you know uh, as they get they get ready, you know, we'll determine when is the best time to put them in a game, which will hopefully be soon, you know, so, um, you know, it'll come soon for those guys, you know, but they all uh, threw the ball really well. Corbin threw yesterday, live BP threw the ball really, really well. Uh, John Lester threw the ball really, really well. So, um, you know, today Strauss is throwing a live BP today. So I'm going to go out there and watch him now and see, see, see what's going on. Maria Torres, The Athletic. Hey, Davey. Um, this is probably something that you've talked about in the past, I'd imagine, but like how much does versatility like play into how you build the bench? Like how do you like prefer your bench options to be guys who could play anywhere? Yeah, I love guys that can play anywhere, especially with uh, with no DH, you know, right now. I mean, uh, in game, you know, we're in the games and um, the ability to be able to have a guy that could do multiple things is, is huge. So. Uh, you know, we got a few guys like that, which is really, really nice. Um, and they're really, really, really good at what they do. Uh, you know, to Josh Harrison's, Hernan Perez, Jordy Mercer, uh, having a guy like Stevenson that can play all all three outfield positions, Parr who can play all three outfield positions at first base. Um, so it's nice to have those guys, those guys that can do that because uh, in a pinch, you know, you, you know that you can always put put a guy somewhere and not lose any you know, anything on defense. So it's, it's really nice for, for me. I love it. Plus these guys, you know, when we want to give guys days off, these guys could all step right in and, and play a day or two and uh, we won't lose anything from that. So I like that as well. Is that something that you kind of just picked up working with, with Joe Madden or just throughout your like career, you've kind of noticed that might be a. Yeah. Best. I mean, all the teams, you know, as a player, even, you know, um, you know, I grew up just, you know, I was in the big leagues for a while playing center field I took it upon myself to learn how to play everywhere out there. And then also took, you know, started taking ground balls at first base uh, and playing some first base, which you know I, I played a lot of over my career too. So I always tell these guys, hey, um, and we look at guys, you know, you know, especially younger guys that could do multiple things and just kind of move them around, you know, and we got some young guys that can do that. 
Louis Garcia, perfect example, you know, could play shortstop, could play second base. Um, we got another kid in our camp, Clough, could do the same thing. So, um, you know, it gives us options and it doesn't limit them, you know, in case, you know, something happens to just one position. And when it comes to Swihart, is he someone that you prefer to watch right now just behind the plate or are you going to have him also around the field? No, I'm going to have him, I'm going to have him play everywhere, but for right now, we you know, focus is, you know, watching him uh, behind the plate and, and uh, getting him, getting him out there and getting him to learn our, our pitching staff. So, um, but yeah, he'll definitely play some outfield as well. Thank you. Okay. Jess Camarado. Davey, with both, um, what kind of things did you task him with this off season on working on and what's your outlook objections for him during spring training? Yeah, he, he, um, he struggled last year a little bit with his mechanics, and we talked we talked to him about that, um, getting back on his lower half, um, and he did that. He looks really good. He took away a few movements um, that we wanted him to do, and uh, his velo right now is is a, a tick above what it was last year. So that's that's encouraging. So, you know, I just wanted him to go out there and relax. You know, um, obviously he you know he felt like, you know, his year last year was wasn't as what he wanted it to be. But I was proud of him because the kid never gave up. You know, he took the ball every five days and he went out there and, 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 and he pitched, pitched innings for us, which we needed. So, um, you know, this spring, I'm just going to watch him go out there and just, you know, get back to the form that he was uh, a couple of years ago and, and go out there and, and compete. With, um, I feel like the, the both aspect kind of touches on like the people side of baseball. I mean, like, what are those conversations like when he was your starter last year, but then you have to say to him, okay, you still have to compete for a spot in the rotation this year, in the starting rotation this year? I think, I, I mean, I, I think in this game, um, you never take anything for granted. I mean, I played for a very long time, you know, and I was a starting outfielder, but I never, I always came to spring trainings, you know, in my mindset, ready to compete. You know, I mean, everybody wants, wants to play every day. Everybody wants a job. Um, these guys, you know, they want to start. So, they know they got to compete. So, you know, and he, he's good about that. He knows what he wants to do and he's going to go out there and, and do the best to perform well. And that's all we can ask. All I know is I got a, I got a tough task this spring with so many good players. So um, I, I want them to put the pressure on me. 